Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel and happy Sunday. We're outside of Walgreens today getting ready to go in and do our couponing haul for this week, which I'm really excited to share these deals with you guys. But first up, I wanna announce the winner from last week's giveaway. So in last Sunday's Walgreens haul, I announced a $50 Visa gift card giveaway because we hit 50,000 subscribers here on YouTube, which is amazing and I can't even believe that. Um, so just to celebrate and as kind of a thank you, we're doing a $50 gift card giveaway. Now the only requirements on that video was to make sure that you were subscribed to my channel, um, to hit the thumbs up button on that video, and I told you guys to leave any kind of comment that you wanted to on that video. And I was blown away by the comments that you guys left. There was over a thousand comments on that video, and I would say over 90% of them are just you guys being so sweet and amazing and talking about how my videos have helped you in the past. Um, maybe I was the reason you started couponing and how I've helped you save so much money for your family. Like just so many amazing things. My heart could explode. I almost wanted to cry reading through those comments. Um, it's just a really cool feeling to know that my videos have helped so many people learn how to save money and um, really make a difference in that kind of way. So I really appreciate all of your guys' love and support. Thank you for all of those sweet comments. Like, ah, I wanna cry. Um, so to pick the winner for that video, I just opened up all the comments and kind of closed my eyes, scrolled up and down, and whatever one my finger landed on was the winner. So the winner of the $50 Visa gift card is Christina Perrin. I hope I'm saying your name right. Congratulations, Christina. Go ahead and email me. I will have my email down below in the description box so that I can send you your gift card. So now that we have that out of the way, we're going to go ahead and go into Walgreens. I'm going to take you guys into the store with me, show you all the best deals that are going on as usual. Then at the end of the video, we'll go over my receipt and everything I got and talk about the final cost. So let's go into Walgreens and get some deals. <music> Okay, so the first deal we're going to grab is on the Oral-B toothbrushes. Select ones are on sale this week for $3 each, and when you buy two, you're going to get back a $4 register reward. Be careful because there are two separate deals going on for the Crest and Oral-B this week, so make sure you're paying attention to the tags. So we're going to grab two of the ones priced at $3 each. That's going to total us $6. I'm going to grab two of the Extra Soft because that's what my mom uses, so picking these up for her. We are going to use two $2 off one paper coupons from the September P&G insert, which is going to leave us to pay just $2, but we're going to earn back that $4 register reward, which is going to make this a $2 money maker. Now, if you don't have any paper coupons to work with and you're just working with digitals, I would go ahead and grab a third toothbrush or you can grab the toothpaste as well. You can mix and match however you want. Just grab three of the products for $3 each. Clip this five off three digital coupon in the Walgreens app. You'll pay $4, earn back a $4 register reward, which would make all three items completely free. Another freebie on oral care that you can grab this week, this one is super newbie friendly, it's on the Colgate. Select ones are on sale for $3.99, and buy two, earn back $4 in Walgreens cash. So we're going to grab one of the toothbrushes, and then we're going to head down here and grab one of the toothpaste. That's going to total us $7.98. Go in your Walgreens app and clip this $2 off digital coupon for the toothpaste and a $2 off digital coupon for the toothbrush. That'll leave us to pay $3.98. We'll earn back $4 in Walgreens cash, making both of them completely free. Another option for the oral care this week is on the Oral-B Super Floss. They're on sale for $3 each. They're included in the deal for buy two, earn back a $4 register reward. My store only has two of them, but you want to go ahead and pick up three of those if you can find them. We have a separate 5 off 3 digital coupon that's attaching to these, so that would leave you to pay $4 for all three. You'd earn back a $4 register reward, making them completely free. Obviously, I can't do it because my store only has two, but that is another option. Just be sure to do it in a separate transaction if you're also picking up the toothbrushes that are a part of the same register reward promotion. Okay, so now we're going to do a deal for the buy three, earn back $5 in Walgreens cash promotion. It includes several different items. One of them is the Oral-B toothbrushes. Now, these are the ones that are priced at $4 each, not $3. So, like I said, pay attention to the tags. We're going to grab one of these for $4, and we're going to use a $2 off one digital coupon. Then we're going to grab two of the Garnier Whole Blends shampoo and conditioner. They're on sale two for seven, and they're also included in the buy three deal. And we have a three off two digital coupon for these in the Walgreens app. 
So all three of these items is gonna total us $11 before coupons. After the three off two digital and the $2 off one, we're gonna pay $6, earn back $5 in Walgreens cash, making our final cost for all three just a dollar or about 33 cents each. Walgreens is having a promotion this week where when you spend $30 on select Unilever products, you're going to get back $10 in Walgreens cash. So several different things you could do with this promotion. I'm going to go ahead and grab two of the Dove men's deodorants priced at $7.29. They're also buy one, get one half off this week. And I have an offer on Fetch Rewards for when you buy two Dove deodorants, you're going to get back $2 in points and you can do it up to three times. So I'm also going to grab two of the Dove women's deodorants, same thing, they're $7.29, buy one, get one half off, and I will also get back $2 on Fetch for buying the two of these. By the way, if you guys are not signed up with Fetch Rewards yet, you need to go sign up. It is totally free, and if you use my code V2JVW, you will get an extra $2 in points after you scan your first receipt. All right, so as far as coupons go, we're gonna use $2.50 coupons for the Dove men's deodorants and $2.25 coupons for the Dove women's. All four of these coupons came in the 912 Unilever insert. And then we just have a few more products to add to our spend 30 deal. We're also gonna add in two of the Axe hair care products. These are $4.99. They're also buy one, get one half off. So we're gonna grab two of these for $7.48. And we're going to use two $2 off one paper coupons that we just got in the 912 Unilever insert. And that puts us right under $30, so we're just going to have to add one more thing to our scenario, and that's going to be on the Suave Hair Care. They're priced at two for seven, but they're also on sale this week for buy one, get one half off, which is essentially going to stack together and they'll ring up two for $5.25. So I'm going to grab two of the hair sprays. You can grab the shampoo if you want to. And we have a three off two digital coupon for these in the Walgreens app. Okay, so here's all of our items for our Spend 30 deal. We have the two Suave products, the four Dev deodorants, and the two Axe. That's going to bring us to $34.60 before any coupons. After all of our coupons, we're going to be left to pay $22.10. We'll earn back $10 in Walgreens cash for spending 30 and $4 on Fetch Rewards for buying the four Dove deodorants, which is going to make our final cost for all eight products just $8.10, or just over a dollar a piece, which I will definitely pay, especially for Dove deodorant. Now, I also want to mention that because this is a spend deal where we're earning back Walgreens cash, you do not want to use Walgreens cash to pay for this. However, we are going to be building up our transaction so that we can use Walgreens cash and still get our Walgreens cash back. You guys definitely want to check the facial care section at your Walgreens because they have some good clearance going on. I'm going to grab this Olay moisturizer on clearance for just $7.99 all the way down from like 30 something, which is crazy. And I'm also going to grab this Olay mineral sunscreen on clearance for $9.79 all the way down from like 38 something. Now these are also buy one get one half off this week, so the two of these is going to ring up for $13.78. And I have a $12 off of two digital coupon that is attaching to these, leaving us to pay $1.78 for both. And I did not realize at the time that these are also included in the deal for buy two, earn back a $4 register reward, which ended up making these like a $2.22 moneymaker. Okay, so here's everything that we're grabbing at Walgreens today. I'm planning on doing all of this in one transaction. My total before coupons is $73.36. Now I'm planning on using a digital spend booster for spend 50, earn back $10 in Walgreens cash, and this paper booster for spend 35, earn back eight. Now these boosters will stack together. All I have to do is spend the $50 and I will earn back both the $10 in Walgreens cash and the $8 in Walgreens cash. However, for this transaction, I want to use $20 in Walgreens cash to pay just to lower our out of pocket a little bit. Because our subtotal before coupons is $73.36, I am able to use $20 in Walgreens cash. Once that comes off, I will still be spending $53.36 between my manufacturer coupons and my cash, which means I will still qualify for both the digital booster and the paper booster. Now, the only way to do this with a paper booster is to use the pay in store feature in the Walgreens app. You do not pay with your debit card at the register. You go through the app, you select pay in store, Select any Walgreens cash that you want to redeem and then make sure your debit card is connected. That will give the cashier a barcode to scan and you pay through that. That is the only way to do this with those paper spend boosters. So anyways, I will see you guys in the car to let you know how it all goes. Okay, so we are back out from Walgreens now. I'm not going to lie to you guys, that was kind of a pain and it has been for the past couple weeks at Walgreens. 
I don't know what is going on with their system and I don't even know if this is just my store or if it's going on at multiple stores. So let me know in the comments. Um, their registers are just so slow, like painfully slow. It takes them forever to be able to scan all my items and to scan all my coupons because for some reason, the register keeps freezing up after they scan something. So we have to kind of stand there and wait a little bit for it to start working again and then they can scan another item and then we have to wait a minute. It takes forever. And then the other issue is I cannot get all my paper coupons to scan. Like the first three or four coupons that they scan will go through just fine and then they'll scan another coupon and it will say it's not eligible um, or that there's no eligible items for it to attach to or it'll go through but it'll kick off another coupon that they already scanned. And it's just like a painful process of them having to scan the coupon. Um, she was trying to like remove items, then scan the coupon. It took forever, but I think she finally got them all to work. The only issue is because the register was being super slow and we couldn't get my coupons to go through, we ended up voiding off the transaction and we tried it again. But with her like scanning the item and then scanning the coupon for that item, kind of like in that order to try to see if we could get the coupons to go through, which still didn't end up working. But because of that, one of my items did not get scanned, which I don't even blame her for because it gets confusing with all the items and all the coupons. So one of my Olay items did not get scanned. Therefore, not only did my 12 off two digital not come off, but I also didn't get my $10 in Walgreens cash for the spend 50 digital booster. So that kind of messed things up quite a bit and I didn't really catch it because, like I said, it was just taking forever at checkout and I was just kind of ready to be out of there at that point. But I did go ahead and take the Olay products back in. I returned this one, this is the one that did get scanned, and then I purchased both of these together on one um, transaction. So my 12 off two digital did end up coming off and the manager very nicely gave me credit for the, um, digital booster, the $10 in Walgreens cash. So it ends up working out, but my goodness, was that a pain. If you are a beginner couponer right now at Walgreens and your store is having these same issues, I would not recommend doing big transactions right now. Keep it simple, do small transactions and roll your rewards from one to the next. And if you guys want a video of me specifically doing that, like showing you beginner transactions and how to like do small transactions, rolling your rewards from one transaction to the next. I can put something like that together. Just let me know in the comments. Cause I feel like this video is not gonna be very beginner friendly. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna flip you guys around and show you this hot mess of a receipt. Okay, so here's my receipt for my original transaction. We have the Axe products, all four of the Dove deodorants, the Swaw, two of the Oral-B toothbrushes. Then here's my Olay that I did end up returning. As you can see, the other Olay is not on here anywhere. <laughs> oh goodness. Okay, then we have another Oral-B for $4, my Whole Blends, and my Colgate. Now here's all my coupons. I did hand her the Paper Booster for Spend 35. Then these are all mixed up. As you can see, the $1.25 coupons were for the Dove Women's Deodorant, and they attached to the Axe and the Suave. So that just kind of happens. Um, then we have two $2 Oral-B coupons, $2.50 coupons for the Dove Men's Deodorant, and then two $2 coupons for the Axe. Then my three off two digital came off for the Whole Blends, uh, my $2 Colgate, $2 Oral-B, and another $2 Colgate. As you can see, we are missing the 12 off two Olay, and that is because I only bought one on this transaction. So that left my subtotal at $45.06. Now I did return this Olay right here for $7.99. So we're gonna subtract that because I did get that money back. So $37.07 was my new subtotal. And I did use the pay in store option through the Walgreens app so that I could redeem my $20 in Walgreens cash. So this is a little bit of a higher out of pocket um, than I was planning on paying. I think it was $25.06 initially, but then I returned the Olay for $7.99. Anyways, we got back $27.47 in Walgreens cash. So $10 was for spending $30 on those Unilever products, $8 for my paper booster, um, $5 for the Whole Blends and the Oral-B, then $4 for the Colgate. So that alone right there adds up to $27. So obviously I did not get my $10 in Walgreens cash for the Spend 50 booster. 
I did, however, get my $4 register award for the two Oral-B toothbrushes, and I scanned my receipt to fetch and got back $4.34. $4 for buying the four Dove deodorants and then 34 cents in just like extra points for the Axe and the Suave and all that. Then I took the Olay products back in and returned the one that was on the other receipt. So then I purchased these two on a transaction by themselves. My $12 digital came off this time and I paid $1.78 plus tax. And I got back a $4 register reward. I did not even realize that these were on promotion um, for buy two, get four. So this was a total surprise, but it ended up making the Olay like a $2 moneymaker. So I will take that. And then I did let the manager know that I had a digital booster for spend 50 earn 10. And because one of the Olay products didn't get rang up, I didn't get that $10. So he did credit me that. Okay, so if we take both those transactions and add them together, that makes our final cost after all the rewards we got back and the points on fetch completely free and a $10.96 moneymaker. So. It was a pain in the butt, but I think it was worth it to get all that for a $10 moneymaker. A little bit higher out of pocket this week, but I think I'm still happy with that. I mean, to make $10 for buying all those items is pretty good, especially for this expensive Olay stuff. Like, what the heck? I'm, this is like my favorite deal. I cannot even believe that. All right, you guys, so that is all I have for you in this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video and if it was helpful, please remember to give it a big thumbs up. It really does help out my channel as far as like engagement and all that stuff. Also, if you have anything that you wanna share, any deals you're grabbing at Walgreens this week, any questions, anything like that, leave it down there in the comments. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye. Take my hand, we'll make it somehow. We can't miss out.